three basic nutrition tips for a new cyclist or somebody just starting out in the sport. The first one is this, is that when you're just starting out in the sport, you need to understand that cycling, unlike time in the gym or running, um, you, it is a non-impact sport, meaning that your joints and your muscles aren't going to suffer quite as quickly as they might in, in sports where there is a lot of impact. Therefore, you can ride a bike a lot longer, a lot more, and you can expend a lot more energy riding a bike than you can doing a lot of other activities. This is great because if you, if you want to do, even a beginner can do a two hour bike ride, which it would be very difficult to do a two hour run as someone just beginning into running or a two hour gym session, someone beginning into, you know, getting into the gym. But what this means from a nutrition standpoint is that your caloric intake in cycling can go up quite a bit because you can do a lot of it if you want. Recommendation number one is fuel to the amount of work that you're doing, meaning that you need to eat in accordance to how much training you're doing. If you're doing a very long ride one day, then you need to eat more carbohydrate. You need to eat more calories. You, do no, you need to stay away from trying to you know, limit carbohydrates. You need to stay away from that sort of fatty ketonic type diet. And a long ride, your body needs carbohydrate. It needs fuel. In fact, the carbohydrate will help you burn more fat if you're not overeating, of course. Now, on a light day, eat less. It's really that simple. Fuel your body for the energy requirements of that day. Number two, think about what the energy requirements of that day are from a macronutrient perspective. Meaning, on a long ride day, eat more carbohydrate before the ride, during the ride, after the ride. On a short workout day where you don't need that amount of carbohydrate, focus more on proteins, vegetables, focus more on micronutrients. You don't need that carbohydrate, so focus more on rebuilding your body with more protein-based, more micronutrient-based elements. Number three, on the bike nutrition, drink and eat just before you start getting hungry or thirsty. As to say, when you first start feeling a little bit of thirst or you first start feeling a little bit of hunger, now is the time to eat. If you wait, it's too late. So eat at the first little sign. Some people say eat before you feel hungry, eat before you feel thirsty, and that's not, that's almost a little out of tune with your body and you, you risk just overstuffing yourself. But at the first little pinge of hunger, the first little pinge of thirst, make sure you get it in. Don't wait. Don't wait or it's too late.